Hello, this is Terry from Ink Songs. Uh, last time I had done a uh, high speed painting or a high speed uh, demonstration of uh, wet mounting my painting. And today I wanted to do a little bit of an explanation of uh, how I do the wet mounting process. So this is a painting that I'm going to mount today. It's a dragon and it's on silk. So this is actually the first time I'm going to be wet mounting on silk. So we shall see how this goes. So I already have my, uh, my paste made up for the wet mounting process. Um, I like to use gold harvest paste. Uh, it's kind of like a flour paste or wheat paste. And I've already mixed it with uh, boiling water and a little bit of alum. The alum, I think, helps to seal in the painting so during the wet mounting process, it shouldn't smear. So it's a thin consistency, it's not very thick, so that it goes on easily on the painting. I also have another batch of the paste made up, which is a lot thicker. And this is gonna be for the edges of the um, mulberry paper so that it will stick to the board. And you'll see that shortly. So what I have prepared already also is my mounting paper. So I guess I should explain the reason why we're doing this mounting process. Is that if you can see, it's awfully thin and it's very wrinkled. So we wanna make it uh, more sturdy for displaying and also stretch the silk or if you're using paper, the paper. And it also makes the colors pop out more. So I have my painting and I have my mulberry paper. This is what I'm gonna use for the backing. I made the paper about two inches bigger on each side of the actual painting. Um, and I already have it folded so that I know where to put it when I go ahead to start to uh, roll this paper on. So we're gonna set this aside for now. So to start, you wanna make sure that your painting is top side down because we wanna put the mounting paper on the back, not on the front. So to start, you see it rolls up a little bit, it's a little wrinkly. I'm gonna take a fine mist spray and just spray the back of the painting. And that's gonna loosen it up a little bit, get it to lay flat for me. I should say too, um, on this painting, because it's got thick red color, I put an alum paste wash, or sorry, just an alum wash over top of the paint itself. So hopefully it won't smear as we do this process. So a little bit of water, loosened it up. We're ready to go. So I have this uh, soft hair brush that I got and I trimmed the edges a little bit so that it kind of helps it to go on a little bit easier. Um, one thing that my teacher, uh, Henry Lee from Blue Hair and Arts taught me is that this should not be, the paste should be too thick and you need to put it on so that the painting is actually floating kind of on the table. It needs to be very, very wet. Otherwise, um, you, you might get wrinkles in the paper. You might get bubbles in it. So it seems like the more paste you can put on, the better you're gonna be. So I get this nice and wet, take off a little bit of the excess. And I'm gonna start from the center, go out to the sides, the top and the bottom, and the corners, and try to get um, as much covered as I can. It really needs to be covered so it sticks to the paper. And uh, make it nice and, nice and wet and get all the wrinkles out. Go. So I'm going to start from the center, going out to the ends, to the sides, to the corner. Now this is silk, so it's a little thicker than some of the uh, 
other papers that are used for Sumier painting, the, uh, the Schwann papers. So I can pick this up on the corners if I have to. Get out some of the extra wrinkles. Now one thing I do notice with the silk, I think it gets a little more bubbles in it. I'm gonna try to work those out. You don't want bubbles in your painting. It looks like it's pretty wet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit more. Really get it covered. Get it to where like it's floating on the table. Very wet. Get all these bubbles out. And you can see all the wrinkles are starting to come out. Good thing. hanging off. We do not want that on our painting. It may show. I think, uh, I think that's pretty good. My hair's coming out. So now you see all the paste is around the outside of the painting. We want to wipe that off. Go, uh, go close to the painting, but you don't want to wipe off on the painting because you need that paste on there and make it stick. And that's part of the silk. And in case you're wondering, this is a Gong Bi style painting. Gong Bi is a fine line. And you usually use like cicada wing paper, which is sized paper, meaning it has glue. So it's not, uh, it's uh, more absorbent than like Schwann paper that's used for Sumier. You do a lot of detail. Now it looks like I actually got some uh, hair on here from this brush. I'm gonna need to clean this brush off next time. Make sure I get all the extra hairs out. I think I got it off there. Make sure there's no more on here. Looks like we're good. All right, now I'm gonna get my moderate paper. Come back here, I'm gonna roll it up in my clean table. paper so it gives something this uh, thin silk to stick on to. I'm going to use this uh, stiff bristle brush to roll the paper on. So if you saw earlier I had my little crease at the bottom so I know where to line it up because you don't want to put this on crooked and then you run out of paper on the edges. We need these, we need the edges. So I'm just going to go back and forth Get this paper on here, push them down as I go, so that the paste will adhere to the mulberry paper. And it's very important we get these edges so that it sticks to the painting. Get those edges in there. Now it's pretty wet on the back, so the trick is to take some newspaper and just get some of the moisture off. Just go back and forth, get some of the moisture out. on that board over there. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take my thicker paste, I'm just gonna use a smaller brush, 
And I need to put the paste on the outside. We don't want to get it on the painting or too close to the painting because when this dries, we need to cut it off that board. So I'll use the thicker paste because that will help it stick better to the board than this thinner runny paste. And it's okay if we got hairs in this one. It's not going to be on the painting. So just do the edges. Leave plenty of room to, to cut this off of the board when we need to, when it dries. I usually like to let it sit on the board for a couple days. Um, I live in the desert, so it's pretty dry here. So we don't have to let it sit too long. It usually dries, usually in a few hours, but I like to leave it sit, make sure it's completely dry, completely stretched out. made up a couple pieces just some scrap paper and this is going to help me pick up the corners because you get a couple scrap paper and where did I put my brush and our bristle hair brush so I'm going to pick up the corners so I can lift this up and walk it over to the board and good the corners stuck on the painting if not sometimes you have to add a little bit of paste to stick it back down Oh, and here we go. Let's see if it'll stick. Oh, we need to pick it up. See why it's important? Make sure you get all the corners. But it happens. Just pick it up. Put your paper under there. I make the paper bigger than the painting, so that way, you know, some wrinkles on the edges. When we do this mounting process, it's not big. Alright, we are going to pick this up. I'm going to walk it over to the board and stick it on the board. And I'm just getting the edges. Yeah, we have that. We'll get that later. So where it didn't stick, it did like a little crease, but that's okay because, again, I made the painting a little bit bigger than what it needs to be, so if this happens, you got that little extra room to play with. So I'm making sure that this painting is, or the edges are stuck to the board, so that when it dries and pulls the painting, it doesn't come off. try to fix my corner. I don't know if you can see. You can see a little bit. There we go. And can't see it very well. Sorry. There it is. And we just let it hang there and dry for a couple days. Hopefully it comes out good and then we'll cut it down and I'll post a picture. Thanks. Thanks for watching.